hello there welcome to my channel um recently tamox added a new distro to their period distro list and this distro um name is attix according to wikipedia the difference between attix linux and arch linux is um Artist Linux uses units such as OpenRC, RUnit, S6, or DNIT, while Arch Linux uses um, System D. All right. So, um, without wasting much of your time, let us get to the installation procedures so that you can see how to set this up on your Android phone. And if you're coming across this channel for the first time, we upload videos on Linux tutorials, ethical hacking, programming, and the likes. So if you're interested in this niche, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications to be notified whenever we upload a new video. Let's get started. So welcome back um, to the installation procedure. The application we're going to be using to run this is the Tamox application, of course, which I believe most of you is already used to. Now you're going to update your Tamox repository. To do that, you're going to use the apt update command. And after updating your repository, you want to install an important package called period distro. Most of you already know this. To install period distro, you use the command apt install period distro. Okay. So to see the list of distros currently available on um, Tamox period distro, you can use the command pd list. Okay, which is period distro list. And as you can see there. Artix Linux is one of the distros and Artix Linux, you know, just recently got introduced. So to install Artix Linux, you're going to use the command pd install Artix, okay, which means period distro install Artix and you're going to wait for the installation to finish, okay. Once the installation is complete, you're going to be, you're going to see this notification on your screen and you can easily log into your terminal. By using the command pd login attix which means period distro login attix okay and um, after logging into your attix um, cli interface the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update the repositories now to update the repo you're going to use the command pacman iphan syu which means pacman synchronize and um, update the packages okay you're just going to follow the default options and um, the update is going to complete now after updating um, your terminal the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be installing xfce of course which is you know basically the gui interface that works for most of this linux system so you're going to install xfce with the command pacman iphan s iphan synchronize then xfce4 xfce4 goodies and we're going to also install tiger vnc for the vnc connection okay so you're just going to default selection all of this okay so just click on enter 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 and it is going to select you know the default okay just default and you're going to be told the download size just click on y which means yes and um, the installation is going to proceed okay now once the xfce for gui interface has been installed the next thing we're going to do is um we're going to make a little bit of changes in the environment file okay so to do that you're going to type the command nano forward slash etc forward slash environment okay and um you're going to scroll down and locate um the language option here all right let me scroll back up language as you can see here where it says language equals to english and it's using the utf i find it this thing so you're just going to create a space there and you're going to write language equals c that's lang equals c okay and um, you're going to close the script now to close the script just simply type ctrl x on your keyboard and click on yes okay and that is going to save the script so now we're going to create a vnc password do that with the vnc password command and um, you're going to create a six digit password of your choice make sure you remember this password because every time you want to log into your gui interface you're going to be using the password okay and after creating your password you can now you know um start your vnc server by using the command vnc server then colon one okay which means we're connecting to the localhost one now to connect to the gui interface i am using you know the net on application Later in this video, I'm going to be making an example with VNC Viewer, but this is NetOntakex application, an application that I personally prefer using, okay, to connect to GUI interface. So in the VNC connection setting, you want to make sure that you're typing localhost, then one in the other side, which means you're connecting to the localhost one. And um, here, as you can see, it says VNC password. Make sure you enter the password you created earlier on your, you know, CLI. And in the connection type, you're going to change the connection type to Ultra VNC and you're going to click on connect and that is going to connect you to the GUI interface, okay? Now that you're connected to the GUI interface, you can, you know, um, decide to 
customize your desktop as you wish okay so i'm not going to be making you know tutorials on customization yeah i've made videos before on customization i'm going to leave a link to the videos in the description below so you know if you fancy customization you can customize your system with those videos one thing i've noticed here is i don't have browser okay when i check the internet option i do not have a browser so um to install a browser we're going to be installing firefox browser okay to install firefox browser we're going to be using the command pacman synchronize firefox okay um, I made a mistake there. So you're going to use the command pacman s which means synchronize, then Firefox, just Firefox, okay? And you're going to select the default option. You're going to click on yes, which is why, and um, you're going to let Firefox install. And um, if you go back to the internet option again, you're going to see that the Firefox browser is there, and you know, you can browse um, and install softwares on your GUI interface just like that. So to use the VNC viewer application, just in the address option enter localhost colon one and name you know um your gui interface any name you like i'm going to name this attics and then um, you want to make sure your picture quality is in the high quality okay so that you get the best quality there is okay you're going to click on okay you're going to enter your vnc password which is the vnc password we also use to connect to um network you're going to click on remember password and that should log you into your you know vnc viewer so this is how you install and set up um Attics Linux on your Android phone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications to be notified when I upload another video. See you all in the next one. Goodbye.